So if I have to draw this thing, um, I notice that I can faintly see a line of symmetry. Okay, and I'm probably gonna put that in first. Now I need to draw from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper as best I can. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start looking for basic shapes and basic forms. And this tea kettle is, is basically a cylinder, right? Sort of that tapers out. So I'm gonna start with this ellipse right here. I'm gonna pretend I can see through it, okay? So I'm gonna draw this ellipse and then I'm gonna draw the lines that taper out and I'll draw the bottom ellipse too. So that's the basic form. Um, and then from there I'll just build, okay? So, um, making some marks, you know, just to say, okay, that's how wide I need that top ellipse. And using my imagination to picture it on the paper before I draw anything. Okay, and then when I'm ready, keeping it light, lots of lines, it's okay. Sketchy. Alright, let me move it over so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, and now I know it, it it doesn't go straight down, it sort of tapers out. So whatever I do on this side of the line, I'm gonna do on this side of the line, okay? And thinking about leaving space for the handle, leaving space for the spout. and for the top. And then down here, there's another ellipse. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit wider. And it should, if you're looking down, the ellipse should get wider if you're viewing it from the top down. Super light. Okay, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I can draw, darken some of the stuff that I want, like I really want this line. I'm not really good at drawing straight lines, so I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to use my ruler to straighten out that line. You guys can ask questions and interrupt at any time, it's okay. Or if you need me to show you something, just ask. So you see how the ruler takes care of those edges? And I know that the handle's gonna go through here. That's fine. Okay. All right. Now it looks to me like the tea kettle has another bottom part here goes in and then it comes around. So I'm going to put that in. And it looks like this curve is symmetrical to that one. All right, cool. Okay, so um, for the handle, because I'm going to move up and out, if you notice on the drawing, the handle, this part, lines up to this part. Okay, see how these line up together? They line up on the same, or the other side too, but this side they line up. So my job is just to figure out where from the edge here should I draw a line. Okay. So I'm gonna take a guess and I'm gonna say it's about right there. So I'm just gonna lightly draw a line that's parallel to the edge of the tea kettle. And that's gonna ensure that my handle is lined up, okay? All right, and now all I gotta do is just lightly sketch it out. And nothing is set in stone here. I'm just lightly sort of figuring out where things go.
there's a lot of parallel lines in this drawing and that makes it easy Always drawing as if you could see through everything, that's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. What I'm going to do now is sort of look around and see if there's anything else I can draw that I haven't drawn down here. And I'm going to put in the cast shadow. And there's a couple of shadows. So shadow here in the body. And I know you guys don't really need me to demo this, but I'll just keep demoing it. Okay. All right, so building up from here, same thing. Just going to look around, see if I can draw these angles, drawing through things. There's another ellipse. Okay. And then the lid. Okay, how high am I going to go? Probably about right there. It's just a little dome. Something like that. Draw the shadow shapes. just need the spout okay so for the spout you're gonna look for what lines up so if I need to figure out where this is because that's the bottom and it looks like it's about halfway halfway from here to here so I, I just need to find that on my drawing it's about right take a guess it's about right there that's the bottom of the spout okay and then I know that this is coming out of right here, this area. So that's right there. Okay. So now it's just a matter of drawing it. Okay, this is not so bad. You guys can do this. And I'll come around in a minute and help you all refine and fix your drawings. So I'll come over and help you guys with your drawing.
Yeah. Yeah. Just go ahead and go ask somebody else. So when you shade this thing, same thing as when we were shading the apple, um, you know, you want to, you can blend with the stump. Um, I mean, you can blend with your finger too, but then your hands are going to get all dirty. Or if you decide, you know what, I really don't want to blend at all. I'm just going to use my pencil and leave the Conte on the surface of the paper. That's fine too.